Friday night time here. And wow, what a day for me to do a Digimon Kuji for after how many years? And finally, I get the chance to do the Digimon Kuji. You can see behind me right there. All of them. I don't mean by buying all of them, but wow i just can't believe i really pulled a lot but not beyond you know more than 20 because that's my limit and oh dear so i'm just waiting if any more of you guys will be um live with me or if you're still um awake like that or know my notification well if not i'm just going to um carry on and show these uh guys to one of you so if you miss off the uh live right now at least you can catch up so there's no no need to worry about it and i have to talk a little bit quiet because now it's 11 30 p.m here in uh hong kong time and my niece is actually asleep so my sister is hoping that her daughter will be sleeping not to um wake up afterwards because it's a very tiring day and before i start these ones how you guys are um doing because you know this pandemic going right it's so depressing but today we're not going to talk about this uh, virus or in my way i would like to call this virus more because it's so much of a you know here and there everywhere it's spreading everywhere so i'm just calling it a coronavirus one i don't know if that will make sense to you but this you know just a dg uh, joke fun like that <laughs> don't get me wrong so before I will show these uh, prizes that I have won fairly and square, no cheats at all. And at the same time, I'm not going to uh, say to you the lo um, location just to keep a low profile from the uh, shop owner because where I went to uh, play this uh, um, on Kuji, uh, the shop owner don't want me to record while I'm pulling the tickets off just to you know keep the profile low from their uh, store or their shop area like that so low profile as well from there so i'm not going to mention who where and what it is so but all i can say is just i'm great i'm just happy to go there because not so much people unlike the area that i normally go to it's too much people so that is why i decided to go to that area out of curiosity and it's very good that I went there because very very few people and it's not super crowded and the area I go there it's more fair uh, price amount rather than when I normally go where I normally go is very um, crowded and very expensive because when I went there it was a huge disaster because if you play this once for the Digimon Kuji or any Kujis like the Demon Slayer, the Sanrio Kuji um anymore one piece old kujis um, back in a few months ago they rise up the price like more than six months for not going to that area for a very long time thanks so much coronavirus they wrote they rose up the price ridiculously so i decided not to play those kujis anymore there even though it's a little bit close to my area but uh it's best for me to go somewhere that it's a good hospitality good service and of course to enjoy the kuji so i know you guys have been waiting right i hope to see you guys um fully uh, awake i don't know how to put this uh live thing like that okay i'm just checking everything okay are visible yeah there we go oh uh, hi uh, mystical rose and well, thank you very much. So, uh, what time is it in your um, location, by the way? I just need to know. <laughs> just curious, because right now here's almost 12 a.m. It's going to be reached to um, midnight around, let's say, 26 more minutes, and then it will be November 10. Oh, hi from uh, Korea. Oh, that's a cute logo. That's very cute. Ah, Sarahe. Really, really cute. I like that. So, you guys are very excited, aren't you? So, my friend from another location actually gave me this poster for free, so bonus. So here are the price lists just to show to you all. So we can have all the four prices. Top prices are the A price right here. And then War Green Mon for the B price. A price right here is the Omega Mon. B for War Green Mon. C and D are the long towels, the color version, and the Mopat. That's how we say it in Cantonese here in Hong Kong. And then for the E price right there, sorry if for the blurry because I'm using my phone, is the Shikishi or Visual Arts in English. 
and the F price are the rubber strap and you can see there is a secret which I already know the circuit and some of you should know it as well because I actually bought one of it uh, for my a friend that she really wants to play this Koji but because she's on the very tight budget and she just recently started working so she doesn't have enough money to do the um, play the Koji and then the last one price is similar to the A but it's just a different color so I'm going to keep this one because it's a must for a hardcore fan of Digimon even so running at my back you can tell there's Makemon right there and then just right here you can't see there's my uh, big plushy life size of Telmon and my Eater bag inside I just put it my Digivice and more of displays of Digimons are there as well so let me check again there all right so let's begin everyone so in the US it is 9:35. wow that early so wow good morning Mr. Cole Rose or I'll just call you Rose and Shark. So we would just begin with the small prices. And of course, before the end of this video, before I will go to sleep because I need to start working again tomorrow. I know working at the airport is very, very tiring these days because doing, you know, cleaning almost everywhere, it's very, very exhausting. So for the F price, I got 11. So we have three of my possession right here, two more one more you can see i'm just passing it out just to show you as proof that there's no cheats and here we go so i have total of 11 f prices so you may wonder how many pulls i went for if those of you did not follow me on my instagram account i pulled a total of 20 so yep i have 11 f prices and then for the e price I have seven so that means one is actually missing try to guess which character am i missing out of the eight dg distance and then for the d price i got it the black and white version with the uh war greymon metal garurumon and omegamon and then for the uh b price of course it's not because it's not war greymon but in my possession it is the a price so Looking at the uh, F price right here of the rubber straps, here we go. So you may notice that these films actually focus on the latest, whether people call it a reboot or just an alternative, um, you know, another uh, university. No, I mean, um, another dimension, yeah, another dimension of the Digimon adventures. So instead of calling it reboot like that, I would rather just say a, you know, another version like that, another university. No, I don't know, I keep saying university, my bad. But anyway, looking at the rubber straps right here, they are very, very adorable. And moving at the back, I don't know why my phone keeps um, doing this blurry. I apologize for that. And then looking right here, you can tell that there's all the DG distance, total of eight of them. And then we have the new Digivice and the secret. So I kind of... Um, well, I can show you the secret, so, but I have to give it to my friend since she actually paid me to do this. I mean, to give it to her, but she really loves the old version of the, based on the 1999 version. So, here is the Crest of Courage, and behind it is Tai Chi's Digivice. So, I already made a promise to my friend that I will not open this. Though the seller I met today, uh, he did like provide me the box, so it's okay, no big deal for it. And at the back, here are the words. So let's get these open. So a total of 11 boxes, darn. So there's a total of 10 only, so maybe there will be a duplicate. I'm just hoping to get a um, Hikri because you know me, I love Telmon and Hikri the most. And then um, Koshiro, Tentumon for my sister because she's a hardcore fan of Tentumon. And I noticed that this um, new um, Digimon Adventure, it seems like Tentumon is very interesting, um, a very interesting character if, you, if I say so myself, myself. So on the very first box, which character will I get? in three two one oh wait it's flip and we got is mimi right here look at that that is so adorable so the very first digital stand out of 11 we get is mimi 
and palmon oh my gosh that is so freaking cute look at that yep thank you i hope i'll get it but yeah there's something hidden there that i actually got so it's a little bit of spoiler but here is mimi and palmon it's very cute and i really like her character development for this um new digimon adventure so if you may ask me about the digimon adventure for this time around i will not judge it yet because i want to watch the whole way until the very end then i'll make my assumptions uh, once this digimon adventure 2020 finish just to you know just a little bit of patience because i know or rather i should say i heard i've seen some people complaining uh regarding about the digimon adventure 2020 it's not so um not so brilliant uh which video um yeah um well let's just say i'm filipino and uh actually i was born here in hong kong so i mostly speak more english and more cantonese and my tagalog to be honest it's not so good it's always messed up like very gulu gulu like that's like miss like really really messed up the language so it's much better for me to speak more of the uh, English and because I'm born here in Hong Kong we had to speak more of the English and Cantonese as much as possible so let's carry on with the second pack so hopefully I will get um, Hikri Telmon or Koshiro um, Koshiro and Tentumon and there's one youtuber uh, from Japan I watched it uh, just yesterday he actually bought the whole set of this total of 80 prices 80 tickets and there's like actually a note on his far left like right here he mentioned of these traps like how many the characters per each some were like five five three three two and i was surprised that sora for the f price only two so if i end up getting sora in this badge where i played i'll be surprised if i end up getting sora but i hope not because sora is so far how do I put this? I don't want to spoil it, so it's best not to say it anyways. So, let's go to the second pack. Which one will I get? In 3, 2, 1. <gasps> yes! We got it, everyone! Yes, 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 yes. We got it. This is the one my sister really wanted. There we go. It's Koshiro and Tentamon. Oh my goodness. Yes, this is the what she wanted. It's really cute, I got to admit it. That's really cute. If I end up getting another duplicate for this, then that will be a very good change for my sister to display around her. Oh my gosh, she'll be she will go freak out afterwards. I'd be quiet though because she's just behind my room area. Darn look at that. Any one of you are um any of you are a huge fan of uh, Koshiro right here, uh, leave a comment down below, like on the live chat right now. Oh my gosh, look at that with his computer on or laptop like that. With a gentleman saying hi or what are you doing? Oh, that is so cute. So we have these two couples, like many people really want them to be shipped together like that. Very ironic from the nostalgia moment back then. We really want them to be together, but we will just see you know shipping like that so carry on with the third box oh my gosh any one of these characters i don't mind except um sort of no no hates there but it's just if you watch some part of it you know why so on the third box who will i get in three two wait yes indeed indeed my child i agree with you there one wait I saw already Yamato and Gabumon look at that so I had to go a little bit far because every time I go a little bit closer it doesn't want me to oh, focus properly I have to keep pressing it on my phone screen right there you can see it oh that's nice so I know I don't really like Yamato's outfit even my sister don't like it it's just very weird in our own opinion but what do you guys think do you like yamato's um new outfit let me know on the chat down below right now while i open how many more boxes to go so we already opened three boxes and we're down to seven seven boxes to go and my sisters say that i made guys and the 
um, the nostalgic Digivice of Tai Chi. If that's true, then that would be brilliant. Let's see if my, if my sister guessed it correctly. So on our fourth pack, who will I get? In three, two, one. It's a duplicate of Yamato and Gabumon. So just to clarify that um, Tai Chi, uh, Yamato, and Hikri for the F price traps there are actually five if you remember from the person from japan mentioned it that there's actually five of him tai chi and hikari so i have a duplicate so far of two yamato and gabumon so there we go and i do actually plan to um sell uh, one of these uh, rubber straps but unfortunately i will not sell it outside hong kong because of the ongoing pandemic so i'm so sorry for that really do um, I really want to sell it outside Hong Kong but I cannot risk it for it because one of my um, envelopes that I just mailed it just here got lost so I had to pay back the uh, buyer as soon as possible that's really one thing sucks so it's best to just do a meetup or drink off like that it would be more convenient rather than doing mailing even at your local area it's very very dangerous now so carrying on to the fifth box oh my gosh and i haven't even get my character yet what happened hopefully she's here please 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 hopefully she'll be here is she here on the fifth in three two one oh we got tai chi right there we got the main protagonist which he's always the highlight or the spotlight of the film even this time he's been focusing a lot like he's really there so so far the episode is a little bit um up and down like that but we will see how it goes and look at that there's tai chi and agumon right there just happily like that sitting each other like that or leaning on and i hear the back that is so cool look at that oh it's so cute really really cute i really love it putting that aside so let's carry on with the six pack and it's still not Hikri Yagami, but it's end up with um, Hikri's big brother, which is Tai Chi. How come? Come on. We need Hikri on this box. Please pray for Hikri. Please, please, please pray for Hikri. Even my own laptop right here. Hikri is just looking into my soul already. Come on. It's got to be here. Come on. In three. Oh, crap. Did I just seize a shoe or something? I just saw a shoe just popped out i think i know what it is it is i think i know in three two one oh crap i oh no <gasps> it is sora it's nice the expression the uh the bonding yes but if you watch the um episode for this the few episodes the beginning okay but then onwards it's going from 100 to 50 so i'm not going to say afterwards but here is sora and piyomon so my sister was right i may end up getting sora hiya <laughs> oh dear why get sora why okay to our oh nice nice clean box this is rare. Normally, you open the boxes. It's like with a strap, like some, you know, like one of these ones stuck here. Okay, on the seven box, who will I get? In three, two, one. What? We have a duplicate of Koshiro yet again. So now my sister can make a beautiful display of koshiros because now she has a toy figure of tentomon and then a mini um acrylic stand like that that i bought for her last year when i went to tokyo with my friend she has that as well and some pins of koshiro and tentomon she's gonna be so hyped when she finds out about this so i have two duplicates of koshiro and yamato so far and the characters that we're missing are Joe, um, let's see, uh, Joe, Takuru, and 
Hickory, come on, come on, come on. It's gotta be in these three boxes, right? Please let it be in this box. Because the shop owner, when he passed me the F price, I did not choose. He just passed it to me straight on. Even though it was very few people. Not many people are going into his store. That's so creepy. But I'm just glad. So, on the... Oh, on the nine box. Come on. It's got to be here. Let's see. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my gosh. Nope. Eight. My bad. Still have. I still have. Oh, please, 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 please. We still have four more boxes to go. Yeah, four more boxes. I miscount. My bad. So, which one here? Hopefully, Takiru Joe Hikri. Please, please, please. In three, two, one oh and we get is joe and gomamon there we go look at that here we go wait come on focus focus please there we go everyone we got gomamon and joe i really like uh, gomamon's expression right there it's so adorable don't you think it's very very cute oh so cute indeed love it love it love it and we have three more boxes come on three more boxes Come on, Hikari, the Digivices, please come out. Even Takuru, come on, come on. It will be a lovely complete set if this happens. It will be a very, very big miracle. But if not, oh well, it's this part of the game anyway. So I will not blame the Kiji. So, on the ninth pack, in three, two, one. Ah, oh crap. <gasps> no way. I really get Yamato. I have three Yamatos. What on earth? I have three Yamatos. Oh my gosh. So whoever's going to play there and wants to get Yamato, it's going to be a low chance. Because I robbed Yamato. <laughs> I really got every Yamatos. Oh dear, I hope this is not Yamato or these two are not Yamatos. I'm going to freak out if this happens. I don't want that to happen. Oh crap, now the box is hard to remove. Have backup as we with me at the as always. So just have to be careful. Oh, these things are really hard to remove time to time. Come on, come on. Open, 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 open. And the box is so damaged. <laughs> so this one, I'm trying to feel it's a little bit cropped up so i'm guessing it could be the secret the new dg device and maybe another duplicate of one of the dg distance that i got maybe we'll just have to find out here we go in three two one oh my gosh we have tai chi and agumon again dang what happened to my character where did she go off Oh my gosh. So I got three Yamotos and two Tai Chi's. And then two Koshiros. Oh dear. So, oh no, wait, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <gasps> I have 10 of these, but there's no secret, no new Digivice, no, no Takeru, no Hikri at all. And I have one left. <sighs> Wow, this is a nightmare. A nightmare for the F prize. So, which one will I get on this one? So, come with me. I really tried my best. Anyway, so, last and final F prize. Who will I get in three, two, one? Are you kidding me? I literally got four Yamatos. That's the almost a whole five of Yamatos. I am really out of words right now. I am really out of words. I don't know what to say. I have four. That's not a joke. Look at that, everyone. For those of you who are a fan of Yamatos, I have four of these out of five rubber straps. Like if it's the Yamato set, four. I am completely shocked. 
about this. So many of people that's a hardcore here um, of Yamato that live here in Hong Kong, I'm willing to sell these. I'm just um, shocked already to get almost the whole um, Yamato. And then for Sora, just for one, I end up getting one. This is so creepy. Really, really creepy. So I did not get our Takuru, Hikri, the new Digivice, and the secret of the Digivice that I just showed you for my friend. But hold on, even though that disappointment that I did not get um, Takuru or Hikri, rest assured because there's always a backup, right? You can tell me I'm grabbing something from my left hand, which is the Ta-da! The Hikri and Telmon. So I have to buy this for backup in case I will not get the Hikri strap. So I am just grateful that at least I got it from the seller. So here is the Hikri and Telmon strap. If I did not win the, uh, if I did not get it from the box directly. So this is how she looks like hugging with Telmon. So, so very, very cute. I really like the poster of them hugging like that it's like oh it's my hikri and telmon collection up there very soon after i wrap everything this up so i'm just happy at least i helped my sister that is the good news right that is the very very good news so now let's carry on with the shikishis in english we call them the visual arts so i have seven of them so before i'll show you which one of the um characters that i did not get here are the lineups of the dg destins of taichi miyamoto sora koshiro mimi joe patamon and hikri down there so i have here of course cannot regret for not getting hikri and telmon if you can see that hikri and telmon Tai Chi and Agumon, Yamato and Gabumon, and I had to put this down here because my laptop is going to make them fall. And, and whoops, my bad. Yeah. Gabumon and Yamato, Joe and Gomamon, Kochiro and Pentamon right here, and I really like the drawing of it, so so cute. Mimi and Pamon, very very cute. I really like this I'm drawing so much, really really gorgeous. And last, try to guess which one I did not get at all, despite so many E prices, lots were still there. Try to guess which one. There's a two two characters are still missing. Try your guess. It could be either one of them. Could try to guess. Give you five seconds to think about it. If you guessed it, uh, just chat. Uh, just give it a chat right there. If you guess it correctly, so here it goes. The revealing in three, two, one, which is Takuru. And you may notice I did not get Sora because lower chance people will not get Sora in here like here in Hong Kong because not many people are talking about Sora so I kind of feel sorry for Sora at the same time so so far here are the shikishis of the seven DG Destins so of course I have to give this one to my sister because she really really loves Koshiro and Tentamon very much and then for me definitely Hikri and Telmon. Look at this is a, the design. Look at that. It's so so pretty. Love it so much. So putting this down, all of these ones. So some of them I will sell it, but yet again it has to be here in Hong Kong. So I'm so sorry for those of you from other countries. But it's best to ask someone maybe lives directly in Japan or maybe maybe in your place that has a Kuji store. Maybe you can try your luck over there. And rest assured, the F price are random, but if it's for the Shikishis, you can choose. So don't worry about this. You can actually choose. Then, 
going to the top prices so i want two top prices and one over here is the d price which is the mopad version the black and white color and you may notice there's three digimons right here but because of my phone kind of focus so i apologize for that so we focus on the left side right here is metal Greymon, and the far right here is war Greymon, and the middle the center which is the omega mon so these three right here they really are the focus or the highlight for this d price of the long tower and the um the width right here is 120 and the height is around yep yeah, around 60 cm so it's very very long but i'm not going to open it because i am willing to sell this as well for around um 200 hong kong dollars so you try to divide it by by seven if those of you live in the states like that so just divide it by depends on where you're living then you know how much it, it is so i'm selling it for 200 that's really the cheapest that i will afford for any one of you are living in hong kong brand new rest assured brand new so here we go and now the moment for all of you have been waiting for the a price even me i can't wait to open it and to show you the quality of this figurine that's around let's say 18 to 20 cm quite mumbo jumbo so it is here Ta -da! the big price of the a price omega one and just to let you know it was very creepy as the moment i won this carrying this with me with the other goodies here people kept staring at me as i'm walking to the streets taking the train getting on the bus heading back home they keep staring at this box even the shop owners they were staring and staring and staring it's like i don't know it's like all of them they're just looking at this highlight of the box and they noticed that i was wearing the shirt of the digimon adventures and then the my Ita bag full of uh, pins displaying of Hikri and Telmon. And it's so creepy because they can tell if you carry a lot of things that represents the anime or character that you like the most. Then they'll go, wow, that's amazing. Or isn't this a bit too much? You have a mixed feeling about this. But let's carry on showing the A price. So here is the side view of the Omega Mon. Showing the detail, the face, the chest, and then the metal uh garun and the war green and the blaster and then the side here of the megamon side view then the back shows you how do you assemble it there's the instructions there it's just quite heavy it shows you that there's actually a mini stand to actually stand for the cape only and then right here is to put the blade inside um, War Greymon's um, whatever mouth. I don't know how do you um, say it, but I think that's how it should be say how it should be uh, mentioned about it. Oh well. So this is this is no bootleg at all. So I promise you that because here is the official sticker from the Two Way Animation. So let's get this open and here we go. The Ichiban Kuji Digimon Adventure okay where's my cutter let's open this oh dear i really don't want to damage the box wait so anyways anyone what are you guys doing with uh, during this time around well here is already past midnight and our mother's still not yet here because she's still working at the airport oh dear come on and side more here what are you guys doing? Yeah, having breakfast? Working at home? Like during this pandemic? What will you be doing? Me, just mostly working. During my ops, I'll either just relax, focus on my phone, or think of something new to record or maybe drawing like that for TVs. Just just let you know what, I, what I've been doing. And of course, cleaning up my room. Oh, they're working. We're both even then working. That sucks, isn't it? But we have to work. Because if no work, how can we survive? Open this. When it comes to big boxes, if you win a Kuji 
a figure. This is how much hustle. Now you know how I get a hustle when it comes to winning big um, figurines because there's a lot of setups when it comes to this. This is how the struggles we go through. Big boxes, more space consumed. And sometimes big boxes of the Kujis does not make sense because look, there's so many free space right there. It's really that, not really that necessary to put in, but uh, it can't be helped. It's similar to the um, cute pocket figures. It happens most of them. If you may ask me, this happens a lot. So let's take this out. Ah, it's so, it's so heavy. It's so hard to pull this off. Okay, so we slowly, oh my gosh. So we got is the cape, the metal garurumon, right there, and then the war grain one. Man, it's really stuck. How did it manage to fit in this? So here we go. War grain more oh, whoops. War grain one, metal garurumon, and then the cape. I can really see the detail. So had to put it there with the bubble wrapper underneath here make sure that's protected so i'm not going to move the rubber um the bubble wrapper my bad <laughs> so and then for the omega one it's so tight here it is so hard to get this off this may take some time oh wow this is really hard to get yep i had to move the cardboard right here just in order to get this wow okay let's put this one back in it. oh finally there we go Ta-da! everything closed sealed don't seal it yet because i need to put the plastic back inside the box afterwards so here is omega moon and then the stand right here mini stand and then the mini base and here is the epic sword with the dg codes right there for the front here for both sides which is cool make it more accurate and then here is omega one's back view and then the front view look at that that's so cool so let's get this open so not many people will open it just like this like that if they can open it but for me, I like to use with the scissors. Not all the way, but just give it a little bit of space. So it's easier for me to put them uh, back in if I need to move house. Or trying to swap it with another figure like a two display. Which I do that. Not every month, but like, if I feel like in a mood to eat, this may. Well, so while you guys wait. Um, have a nice cup of coffee. If you're uh, awake in the daytime or if you're about to go sleep um take your uh, dinner like that if it's nighttime there have your dinner first while waiting doesn't mean it's to take really long time of course but this may take really a while so done opening it and here we go the first part Whew. just opening this just makes you Makes you really hot now. Hot, right? Here in Hong Kong, it's still very hot, you may ask me. So, what about your, uh, the weather in there? Is it hot? Cold? Let me know. Because I do know right now, um, most parts in Asia, it's actually very cold. Especially in uh, South Korea. Um, um, I think Taiwan's also um, cold. I may be wrong. Please let me know. Getting out of this. But here in Hong Kong, it is really, really hot. It doesn't feel like autumn yet. So even the blankets, like the um, to keep ourselves warm from the winter, we haven't put them out yet. Even though it is um, November, so Hong Kong weather it's very, very messed up. <sighs> and now let's go with the capes. These big ones right here. Mm -hmm. 
and we have what the heck oh they put a double um they put a cardboard right um war greymon's horns that's to make it more protection that's very interesting but look at the detail though that's really cool and they can put the blade right into his mouth there wow and then here is the that crest of courage that shield over there wow there's addition of this one and this so putting these two inside here so i will not um, forget it and then for metal garurumon it's right here I just have to be careful look at the detail on this i like the shadowy part like the dark parts right here to give it that cool effect oh wow this is so amazing look at that oh i heard a doorbell i believe that's my mom yep our mom is coming so i had to close the door i already told my sister in advance that if our mother comes home i had to close the door Yep, all closed. So my sister was going to explain to my uh, to our mother that I'm just busy doing recording like that, and that was she will not, you know, try to talk until I finish recording. And then last but not wait. Oh, we forgot. War Green Moon has that little plastic over here. Oh, that's really, really, that's really unusual. Isn't this like a tape? Wow. Okay, so there's a lot of parts for War Greymon's arms. So if you're going to have this figure, there'll be a lot of parts you have to remove uh, patiently. Really, really patient. And I can guess why because it's, it's easily to bend. So you have to be very, very care be careful for this. And then the sword, yep, making sure. And the, whoops, and the cape. Here we go. Look at that. And look at the shadowy effect right there. It's so cool. Then the back, you can see the yellow fading color like there, light yellow. Let me give that a high there. They give you that light over there. Look at that. That's a gorgeous one. It's not shiny effect, but if it's the shiny effect, it will be for the last one price of the Omega one. Like if you get the remaining um, tickets left that's on the box, depends on how many. And if you can afford that money to pay their... The, you know pay all the tickets then you can get the last one price so this one's the cape look at that's amazing so now time to assemble it and plastics will be deal with it a little bit later so let's go by putting the war gray ones um right arm i mean omega ones left arm of the war gray ones mouth so this one there's a hole in there, if you can see that. I'm sitting too far, not bad. Here we go. And they're both the same, right there, for the words. They're just the same. Take a reflection of the mirror, right there. So just slip it in at there. You can see the odd shape there. Just stick to it in there, like chewing, like that, just num 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 everywhere. <laughs> Just like chew it everywhere and ta-da for the blade version. Look at that. For the blade and the cannon. Oh my gosh, this is getting so exciting, isn't it? So now putting the cape for this to attach Omega Mon's back. Hmm, I think it's best to put the um, arms first, just to be sure. So for Omega Mon's right arm. Which is the Metal Garudamons, which I'll put it right here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there we go. Good thing I cut my nails because if your nails is too long, maybe you'll make a scratch on this figurine. There we go. Just press it tightly like that and secure as much as you can. And then for the blade look at that it's so cool and for you it's a little bit tricky because it's a little bit upwards right there here we go there look at that that's the blade see there we go 
and then look at the face of Omega Mon. Look at that face. It's so cool. The detailing, the eyes, the color of the blue area from his chest. It's really, really nice. It's like a nice silver lining. And then I noticed from the horns on the Omega Mon, it's a little bit bendish. Oh no, what happened? Why is it so bendish? Please don't be too bendish. Oh, hopefully you're okay. There we go. And I really like the color of the eyes. It's really sharp. Really, really cool. So I'll post this one, the full um, picture of it, the detail of it of uh, Omega Mon on my Instagram post. So if you want to follow me, just look in the description down below on this video and you see my um, Instagram and other, um, you know, other apps that you can follow me there as well. And now to the cape, the final touch. When it comes to big ones, you have to leave them at the very end. Oh dear, this is getting, oh, tight, 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 tight. Had to be curved because this one's a little plastic feeling. So just be careful if you're trying to assemble something very big. Yeah, it's really, really um, creepy. Yep, making sure it's the right. There we go. Yep, let's try to remove the arm of uh, Omega Mon right here. Whoops. It almost hit my chest. That's got a part because of the blade. There we go. There. There we go. Wow, that is so cool. Finally, we did it for after more than 10 minutes of assembling it. And ta da! Wait, is it really? Or is it has to be lower down? I need to double check. It looks like it needs to be lowered down. I think that's about it. Because I don't want to make it too high or too low. But let me double check it first. Yep. Just making sure. There. And then for these two is where you'll be only holding the capes, if you may ask me. It's nothing going to do with the legs or the feet, but it is for this. So here is the stand and here is the base. So I'm just going to poke this one here. And then for the Omega One figurine, well, it's really heavy because of the uh, the 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 cape included. Darn! Look at that. It's so cool. So I will just take the rest of the photo for this Omega One. So let me give you this full detail on Omega One. Oh, so cool! Look at that. It's so amazing. And it's really, really big. I didn't expect this at all look at that the flowing of the cape back words right there oh dear that's so cool and then the blade right there of war Greymon. the cannon of garudumon right here i mean metal garudumon and then better view right here of omega mon's body with the skinny side right here and then here all the way down and then to the feet and the bottom part i just don't get it is why they don't paint right here for you know the yellow parts for the claws the feet here why they exclude it here they should have to, they should really have uh, put it there if you may ask me as like those kinds of figurine that really likes to that really likes those kinds of figurines that really wants accuracy that's really followed from the anime series or from the manga it's best to have it accurate but oh well I will not complain about it. I will forgive them for this once. But so far, for this figurine of Omega Mon, is very, very outstanding. This is amazing. So, what do you guys think? Any one of you are a huge fan of Omega Mon? Let me know on the comments down below. 
right here and don't worry i will promise you that i will definitely take a photo of this and put it on my instagram account this is really amazing so happy to have won this unexpectedly even though i played for 20 plays so let me put this down right now oh my gosh this is really really big massively big then here is the board that my friend also gave me aside from the poster as well I'd normally you display this at the 7-eleven store and before I go because it's almost time's up and it's almost one hour already I know time flies very quick isn't it so I have a two mini bonus uh, May you may uh may you may be interested it is right here is it no it's not I thought it was reverse my bad but here you go here is the package from the Digimon Adventures the latest one of course but the stickers are actually the ones very 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 long time so the moment I bought this package from my another store the shop owner was kind enough to give me a free sticker which is the holy engine mod like that so this one really focused from the very old um, drawings back then or from the cards it's really cool i really like the hologram effect from the background so all of this one this is actually the second pack and all all of the following lists are the back side right here and all of their uh, names so all of these are based on their ultimate and their um, mega form and the rarest one you will get is like the animation form uh, the rest of them are like focusing on the old classic versions so I'm not going to open the candies right here because you know it's late and I don't want to eat them um, yet but let me open the sticker oh yeah at the back here it is the Holy Angemon at the back. You can see there behind the sticker. So let me take this out. Any stickers I don't mind. Ouch. I think I heard a door knock. That's probably my mom. Ouch. I had to use the scissors. It's really hard to remove this. There we go. When it comes to stickers, it's really hard to open this. So this is how the sticker looks like. And I did not bend it, don't worry. It is still safe. So let me open this one. Snip all the way. It's like I'm opening the car packs. Whoops, that's my laptop. All right, so here it is. Which Digimon will I get? In three, two, one. I see a beautiful hologram here. One. Oh, and we got is Lilymon. Look at that. So pretty. Make sure you uh, recall of those old package cards that I collect. And to that, I still have those old uh, classic uh, cards with the blue cards like that. That's based from the Digimon Tamers. They use for battling with their partners like that, with their Digimon partners. And look at Lilymon. Oh, she's so pretty and very cute. Even though it's not Angel Woman, but I will still consider keeping it. So, uh, and at the back, this is how you look, uh, how it looks like for the data, for the information of her. Like the name, the types, the uh, a battle, and then the descriptions. And though this is actually based from the Digital Adventures, the ones for today, the Digital Adventures 2020. And here it is so beautiful and she is number 30 for the sticker sets so now for the digimon cards which i hardly collect these ones because i don't want to collect too much cards these days but i collect but i will try to buy one pack just to try out and to see which um, digimon um, cards will i get from this one which is the ultimate power digimon card game right there normally i would collect more uh, cards from these but lately I did not because I was trying to save up money and of course 
save up for emergency in need because this coming Thursday I will have my checkup appointment so that's why so opening the package let's see which cards will I get oh what's this this is very interesting do you know these ones not so sure hmm very interesting but I think it's something got to do with the um, app for the Digimon card games haven't played that but let's see oh so at the back we see are these ones the cards because there are new ones so I'm not gonna look at the front I'm not gonna look at the front this is how it looks like at the back don't worry I did not see it this is how it looks like at the back so one is the white one right here and the blue ones I think are the common ones so let's see let's put the white one on top member I'm not looking so the revealing let's see which digimon will i get from these cards so the first one we get is piamon i think it's like a sleeping pose yep piamon graymon right here and then this um i forgot what's this and the Oh, Vendamon, which is the attack mode. And the fifth one, oh, we get is this, um, what's this name again? I forgot. But it's um, Agumon's other um, mega evolution from the Digimon's um, savers, which I have not watched it. So let me know what it's like. There's a gold pattern on it. Then the last one, who will I get? The last card will be it's oh look at that we have it's gilmon's ah oh, the training form and the baby version oh that's so cute oh brings back old memories i oh, remember that gilmon really is a huge fan when it comes to bread i really like it oh it's so cute don't tell me that's him when he's still young oh my gosh that's so cute look at that that's so cute so there's no um epic shinies or any rare cards i get from this pack but i'm good with these cards because i really want to buy one pack to try out just one pack so i know that these cards so far they're actually good i may try to buy a few more just depends on the situation and not all the time i can go out these days just go out when i really really need to so i think that's about it everyone and there's actually one more that I wanted to show you about because it's already too late and I need to need to sleep as soon as possible because early for work and then this coming Thursday for my checkup. So if those of you want wants to know what is the final item that I want to share, it's also one of the top prices that I asked the seller to help me reserve along with the two um two straps right here one of them is actually a top price but it's not a figure so you can really guess what it is but i'm not going to show you here so i do apologize for that and i will just post it uh, on my instagram so just follow me on my instagram uh, on my instagram account so if you do enjoy this everyone of these digimon kuji uh for this Digimon kuji digimon adventures 2020 or just digimon kuji of the day let me know in the comments down below which one of these prices do you like the most and if you did have one of them let me know on this comment down as well whether you're in live chat or you just watch it a little bit later feel free to comment down here as well and if you enjoyed it everyone and you want to see me uh, do more previews in the later future maybe more digimon uh, stops more ultra machador me more of the nostalgic animes that we used to like before like the 90s or 2000s or something that's really interesting that i really really want to share with every one of you i'm willing to share it uh, with you on my youtube channel and of course don't forget to give this video the thumbs up the like button subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more anime previews and kuchi previews in the later future so until then everyone see you all in the next video and of course get midnight to every one of you